Jesse B. Scrapbook came back with another process video and today I'm doing uh, 30 days of sketches. Here is the sketch and scrap timber and the prompt is mixed media. All right so the first thing I am going to do here is try out these new stamps. Um, I've used them a couple different times now but um, I want to see if I can use them with mixed media. So I decided just to go ahead and just try and see what water would do with these um, inks. And so I'm just pushing some onto the plastic here and then smushing the plastic all together. And then lots of more smushing of it onto the white background. And it really does not work very well <laughs> so you'll see me try it with this color and then um i try it with uh this bright green too just to give it that different uh look to it the different variation in the greens and it's not bad i mean i kind of like how it turns out it's just it doesn't do what I wanted it to do. You see me, I was really pushing on it there and nothing came off of that. So I cleaned that off and scratched that idea. And I pull out my um, watercolors. And I'm still using the green. So now I'm gonna have three different colors of green on here, which is just perfect for me. And it does, one thing nice about that uh, stamping is it does not uh, change with the water. So it really does give it a cool effect in the background. So I am going to cut my, um, cir cut my circle into a picture. I'm going to cut my picture into a circle, just like it is in the sketch there and but I'm only doing this one picture and so I I will have uh, the other circles they're just not going to be uh, pictures so I'm going to mat it on the back of this really pretty um, wood grain that I have a whole package of I just absolutely love these wood grains and I was trying to decide if I wanted to ink the edges and I decided not to. So I am going in the background of the sketch. It has that, um, I don't know if it was a stamp or whatever, you know, but that kind of grid um, texture in the back. So I am going to use this. Um, it's for silk flowers like wrapping silk flowers or something in i got it at the dollar tree and um i really like it it has a little bit of a silver sparkle to it so i'm going to use that and then i'm cutting out some more of those circles um, in two different sizes and then i went to my stars my, i have some stars in and these are stars i have punched out previously and didn't use I'm just going to use the ones in the greens and blue tones. I think they're, I use that yeah, kind of a yellow off-white one too. And I decided I like that. So I'm going to go ahead and put this tool down. And I was trying to decide if I wanted to pop up my picture and I decided not to. I'm going to keep this pretty pretty flat not completely but it's pretty flat so i'm just going to grab this little um, piece of scrap paper here that i've ripped and um, i like the color of and so i am just going to um, tuck that in there and then i am going to add this uh, green and polka dot one as another stripe behind my picture I'm trying to, okay, I'm trying to remember exactly everything that order I'm painting it in. And yeah, I'm just going to um, add all these 
um, elements down with circles in the stars and um, just where I had them before. And the picture I have here is a picture of my son. He set up this tree stand and it's not very high in the tree. Um, but he set it up in the tree stand in our front yard so that he could shoot um, 90 um, yards at his um, bow target in the in our shooting range that we have. And uh, the only way he could get it to 90 was by being up in the tree here. So uh, he was very proud of himself getting it all set up there. And don't worry, he does have a tree harness on so that if he falls out of the tree, it, it um, holds him so that he doesn't get hurt. Um, I would freak out if he got into a tree without um, his safety gear on. So I grabbed these little wood veneer um, trees that I got from Shadney over at her Etsy shop. And I think they were supposed to be like Christmas trees, but I thought they worked perfect for him being up in a tree stand. And they're just so dang cute. I got to get some more. So hopefully she does more of the trees for uh, Christmas this year. And um, yeah, I'm going through this sticker book here. It's one I picked up. It's a hot buy. So is that Michael's? Yeah, it's a recollections. And it's all floral. So it's, the whole book is all flowers, and I just absolutely love it. So um, I'm just going to pick out some of the circles and continue with that circle element. And then I went, so here's, I got two circles on there. Here's the third one I'm going to use. It takes me a second to figure out where exactly I want it. And, but then I figure I want it right here. I like that and then I went and these are clear um, leaf stickers and so I'm going to put I was gonna put three on but I actually only ended up putting two on and but I really like the way that it looks on the back behind the picture and the little cluster up on the top but then I do grab three of these little single leaves and I just I'm going to stick them in three different spots around the picture. Yep. And then I'm kind of going to come in with my title. And my title is just simply going to be Tree Stand. Nothing fancy. I do use um, two different uh, fonts for this. And that uh, T in Stand was an X. And I changed it to a T. And the N was half of a W. So I had to make my alpha, alphabet work for me. But I had all the these letters for tree. And then I'm going to glue down all my little wood veneer pieces here. And I just really like these little um, trees on. It works so well. And... Then I'm going to um, do some paper tearing on the side because it looked to me like the whole layout needed something. It was just too plain. And so I decided to do some paper tearing on the side, even though it's not in the sketch. And I just like the way that it really um, brings it out. And it just looks really good and I had to put it on cardstock anyway because that's just uh, printer paper that I used for my mixed media so there you go I'm gonna do that while I am tearing papers and sticking it in this side over here I just want to remind you this is a hop it's a month-long hop and this is just day 14 so we're about halfway through and almost tomorrow will be halfway and um it's been so much fun there's been so many people playing along and um yeah i have totally and completely enjoyed myself and i love going back and watching um other people's videos um, I actually watch videos sometimes while I'm scrapbooking. 
So make sure you go down into my description box below and there's links to everybody that's participating. And um, yeah, my video is going to cut out here in a second as soon as I start my um, journaling. So um, I'm going to come back live. Okay, so my video quit videoing. And so basically all I did is I went around and I did a little um, doodly border around everything so it popped off and I even went around here and up in here and then I put these little um, puffy paint dots they are um, called oh, sorry these are the um, black glitter so they have a really neat texture to them and yeah so that's all I did oh, sorry it's not focusing there we go so that's what I did. Um, yeah, there is my layout. Thank you for watching. If you like what you've seen, please put, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And I will be back again tomorrow with another um, video for 30 Days of Sketches. Bye.